What's up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220-1002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about environmental impacts and controls such as material safety data sheet documentation, temperature, humidity, level awareness, and proper ventilation, power surges, and under voltage events. All right, material safety data sheet. So a material safety data sheet is a document that lists information relating to occupational safety and health for the use of various substances and products. Any product that uses chemicals is required to have a MSDS and an MSDS includes the following information. It has information pertaining to the treatment. If a person was to come in contact with or ingest some type of substance, dealing with some type of spill, handling and disposal of substances properly, and how and where to store substances. Temperature, humidity, and air ventilation. So be aware of the temperature and humidity measurements in your building. Although there is no specific government policy regarding this, there are recommendations including a recommended temperature range of 68 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit and a recommended humidity range of between 20% and 60%. Remember that the higher the humidity, the less chance of ESD or electrostatic discharge, but it may become uncomfortable for workers so a compromise will have to be met. Let's talk about ventilation. So an organization should employ the use of local exhaust to remove contaminants generated by the organization's processes and to introduce an adequate level of fresh outdoor air through natural or mechanical ventilation. Air ducts and dampers, they need to be cleaned regularly and the ductwork installation should be inspected periodically. And then finally, let's talk about power surges, brownouts, and blackouts. So reliable power, it delivers a consistent level, which is essential for protecting electronic equipment, such as computers. An electrical outlet may be properly wired, but there are other threats to the well-being of computers connected to the outlet, including power surges. And these occur when the flow of electricity is interrupted, then started again, or when something sends electricity flowing back into the system. Surge suppressors are designed to block power surges from damaging equipment that is plugged into it. Then we have this thing called a brownout, and this is an intentional or unintentional drop in voltage in an electrical power supply system. And then you have blackouts where you have complete power loss. And when a blackout occurs, the home office or school has absolutely no power, which causes any power device without a battery or generator backup to stop working. All right, so this was a real short video where we talked about material safety data sheet documentations, temperature, humidity, and ventilation, power surges, and under voltage events. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 221,002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.